Hi, welcome to Tired Old Queen at the Movies with Steve Hayes. Let's go see Steve and see if he's got something good for us this week. I bet he does. Johnny, well, good, good, good. Come on. Tired Old Queen with the Movies. Oh, it was time for a comedy, Johnny! So I decided to choose one of my very favorites, George Cukor's Adam's Rib from 1949 with Spencer Tracy, Katherine Hepburn, and Judy Holliday. This was written by Ruth Gordon and Garson Kane, and Ruth Gordon was a great stage actress at the time. Katherine Hepburn always said, people think I'm unique, but all I did was copy Ruth Gordon and Shelley Booth. Everyone has the right to make an ass out of themselves. Can't let the world judge you too much. She had an amazing career, Ruth Gordon did, and she married Garson Kanan, who was a director and writer at the time, and they wrote this incredible screenplay for their good friends, Tracy and Hepburn. They're two warring attorneys. Tracy is working for the district attorney. Catherine Hepburn is a lawyer. A woman shoots her husband. My dear husband! Doctor, please, please! Please, please! And is going on trial for attempted murder. The woman who's going on trial is Judy Holliday. This was her like third movie. It was just before Born Yesterday. Now, at the time that this was made, Born Yesterday had been bought by Columbia Pictures and was going to be turned into a movie. And Harry Kahn, the head of Columbia Pictures, who was a pig, said about Judy Holliday, I don't want that fat Jew in my movie. So Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy and George Cukor decided to stage a screen test for him. Catherine Hepburn arranged for them to shoot the whole sequence, Judy Holliday telling her side of the story, how she went and shot her husband over her shoulder. So the whole thing is a monologue of Judy Holliday's, and it got her born yesterday because she's absolutely hysterical. So then I got very hungry. When? When I bought the gun. Yeah. So I went in this hamburger place and I ate two rare. And one lemon meringue pie. Catherine Hepburn's sister, uh, what did you feel uh, after you shot your husband? Hungry. <laughs> She's so good at this. This movie has a great supporting cast. Tom Ewell plays the husband. Do you consider yourself a good husband? Yes. Gene Hagen, who was in Singing in the Rain, plays uh, his girlfriend, who also kind of talks like, Listen, Buster, I'm on to you. Sure. Ah. We used to shake hands quite a lot. I see. Did you enjoy it? Hepburn and Tracy are at each other's throats. Hepburn will start talking. Now, why is it wrong for a woman? Uh, the same thing. A man could shoot someone and get away with it. A woman of right away is labeled and put into prison. And he'll go, oh, oh, well, we're getting very Bryn Mawr, are we? Right? Well, what did she try to do? She tried well, to keep her home intact. Yeah, by knocking off her husband. She didn't knock him off. She, She's alive. She didn't kill him. She tried. She missed. The banter is, is very much like their what you thought their real relationship was. Look, all I'm trying to say is that there are lots of things that a man can do. And in society's eyes, it's all hunky-dory. A woman does the same thing. The same, mind you, and she's an outcast. Finished? No. Also in this movie is David Wayne, and David Wayne plays the composer who lives across the hall, and he does a, a song written by Cole Porter for Katherine Hepburn in this movie. That wonderful night on the veranda, sweet Amanda. He's obviously gay. Somebody ought to bring me a drink. I choose Amanda. And Spencer Tracy makes all these sort of gay um, slurs at him all the time. And David Wayne just fluffs him off and is adorable and kind of manic and wonderful in this part. It's a very, it's, it's, it's as close as they could come to having a gay character in a movie at the time. You've got me so convinced I may even go out and become a woman. Well, good night, all. And he wouldn't have far to go either. Shh. What's the matter? He can hear you. Everyone in this movie is right at the top of their game. The screenplay, the dialogue back and forth is so funny. This is one of the great sophisticated comedies of the movies with one of the greatest comedy teams ever. Spencer Tracy, Katherine Hepburn, the incomparable Judy Holliday, Tom Ewell, Gene Hagen, Hope Emerson, David Wayne, George Cukor directing. You're gonna love... Ah!
Adam's rib! Let's all go to the lobby. Oh, we ready? Tommy, are we ready? Tommy, Tommy. Oh, Johnny! We haven't done a Catherine Hepburn movie in a little while, and we've never done a Catherine Hepburn and Spencer Tracy movie since the last one we did, which was Tessa. Can't be beat.